Hey everyone, so I am Brooks Bell, the colonoscopy enthusiast, and this is what we've been waiting for. Tonight I am going to do a taste test of four of the main colonoscopy prep solutions. Uh, and then I'm going to choose the one that I like the best and complete my prep with that one. A lot of people don't realize they actually have options and some tastes taste a lot better than other ones. But I don't think there actually has been a proper A-B test done and I want to sacrifice myself uh, for the cause of really seeing which colonoscopy prep uh, tastes the best. Of course, I'm not a doctor. You definitely want to follow your doctor's instructions. Let's start with Go Lightly. I've seen that there are a lot of tips on how to make this taste better, like using a straw or making it really cold. Um, I'm just gonna see what it tastes like. Cheers. Well, it smells pretty good. It smells like lime. It's, I expect it to be worse. It's not that bad. It's kind of mild. I'm having another sip. I wouldn't want to drink 64 ounces of this, but um, it's definitely not as horrific as I expected it to be. Let's look at Miralax. So a lot of people have heard you can take Miralax. This happens to be something I had on hand. Um, you don't need to buy this big of a bottle. Um, I actually measured out, it's a smaller bottle you need, it's one that is eight ounces, so I measured it out. And ooh, that kind of has an aftertaste. It's kind of starting to hit me. It's getting worse. Um, okay, so back to Miralax. I've, when I asked my doctor about this, um, she said that it's not technically FDA approved for colon prep, uh, which is why it's not used commonly for this. Um, some people, when they do take it, they really like it because this supposedly is tasteless and um, and it's you know just uh, followed up with um, Gatorade. So let's go ahead and have a little taste. Yeah, it tastes just like Gatorade. Um, so that's really nice about this one is that it's uh, it's flavorless and it uh, it's you know it's easy to drink and the the issue is that it's not covered by the FDA. Suprep is what I was prescribed for this and it's been around for a while. Mm, I can already smell the aroma. Okay. Um, it smells worse than go lightly. I personally feel like it smells kind of like um, grape grape juice. All right, so let's take let's give it a shot. Mm. No, it's really not that great. Um, I could definitely get this down, but probably what I would do is just, I would just really chug it as fast as possible. So this is ClinPick. Um, I've seen some good things about this online. It's pretty new. I think it's only been out for a couple of years. And so um, I think a lot of doctors just simply haven't had a reason to switch from Suprep to this. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and pour it in. Let's see how this tastes. Smells pretty good. Smells pretty neutral. I don't really detect much. It's actually a little fruity. Like a little, like it's a berry undertone or something. It's not bad. There's definitely berries. Um, almost like a little effervescent. It has a little bit of a weird aftertaste, but definitely better than soup rep. It's a hard choice. I'm kind of surprised that Go Lightly tasted not too bad. Um, last year, this didn't taste that bad, but it tastes worse this year. Um, so I think that since 
given all of these options, I think my choice is um, I'm going to try this Clinvic. I'm going to, knowing that it has a little bit of uh, some risks with staying really hydrated, I'm going to at least drink all of this, maybe a little bit more. Um, probably going to supplement it with some nice savory cups of chicken broth and, uh, and just be extra, extra hydrated. So let's go ahead and drink up, see how it, how it does.